In this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate and resize your images, as you can see here. So in the code, this first part represents the resize functionality. So it's just one call here. And if you just want to resize your images, this is the fastest way. So you can just call it with the image where you want to store the image and the size that you want the image. You have also two options here. You can explicitly say the size that you want the image, or you can specify here the, um, to decimate, for example, 0 0.5 in horizontal and 0 0.6 in the vertical direction. So it will read either this or this to get the dimensions and also the interpolation method. So the interpolation methods, these three are the best ones. And these other two, the linear nearest neighbor are more simple. So they will get you more pixelized results. So unless you're looking for that, you should use these other, these other ones. I prefer this one for scaling down my images to make them smaller. I prefer this one for, for scaling up my images, making them larger, and I use this one for general use. Also here you can see functionality for rotating and scaling at the same time an image. So you can put here the angle that you want to rotate your image. As you can see In here, it's rotated in 30 degrees in this direction, the positive direction, and it's scaled a little, so it's resized a little bit smaller than the original to make it fit here. And also, it's rotated and using the center as the reference, which is calculated here. You can get the rotation matrix. With this function, you only need the cent, the point that you're going to use, the angle and the scale that you want. And then you just call this function warp, and then you put the image where you want to store the image, the rotation matrix, and the size of the image. That's it. If you do that, you will get this image. If you want to rotate to the other side, you can just put here a minus sign, and it's degrees. Okay, so now you know how to rotate and how to resize your images in OpenCV.